All right. Um, let's talk about the Luba. So again, still in the DRC. The Kuba were here. The Congo were here. The Luba are here. And with the Luba, we're going to look at one form, uh, the memory board. I'm going to skip over this stuff. And we're going to look at our Lucasa. So the Lucasa, we talked about at the beginning, this idea of multiplicity of meaning. And a Lucasa is a mnemonic device. It's a memory device. And you can see it's an object, and it's attached with all this stuff. And all those attachments uh, and ideograms can be read. And what these, what these are, uh, they hold knowledge. There is a high-ranking society uh, among the Luba called uh, Mbudye. It's M-B-U-D-Y-E. And members of that society are introduced to special knowledge, whether it has to do with religion and healing and medicine, or with history, or with the location of older kingdoms or grave sites. All of this stuff is embedded in these objects. And these are performance pieces. So depending on your rank in this society or association, you will read or perform this based on the accessibility that you've had to knowledge. And as you progress in further and further into the society, you elicit deeper and deeper information from these. And then you're disseminating it in that performance to everyone else. Yes. Is it something that was passed on to you? Mm. Or is it something that's your divining that you can read? It's, I don't know that I would go as far as to say divining, but, but it's you, you're learning the language and you're reading it like a book. It's, it's like a language that no one else knows how to read. But because you've been inducted and you've learned that language, then you can disseminate this information. Yeah, that's my question. Were you taught that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And one scholar, again, on the bibliography, actually made a diagram and had a member of the association explain it. And it's absolutely spectacular, the information that you have there linked with royal lineage and with the location of capitals and with history. Is this kind of like a, a mason's, uh, you know, getting higher signs and tokens and different whatever's up the line hmm? and becoming a higher and higher and higher member? Yeah. There we go. Yep. Who creates it? Who creates the object? Uh, these are, are members of, of the association. And do they make it knowing what it symbolizes, or is it the person that then interprets it? You know, it, it's a little bit of both. And that's the interesting thing about it. You get this. Uh, kind of layered meanings based on whose hands are on that thing. And then these also, huh? Can you add to it? Or do you have the original one that was created and then added You know, that's a good question. I've never heard about them being kind of uh, embellished and added to. But I, I you know, that, that's an interesting question because it would kind of make sense that, that one would be able to do that. I've never come across that before. I've always seen them as being. Uh, being entities and then individuals learning how to interpret them to deeper, deeper depths. Oh, they can range uh, from 10 inches roundabout. I mean, they're, they're often something you can fit in a hand. And then we have examples with chiefs that will have versions of Lucasa on their staffs of office, like you can see here. All right the different inscriptions there equally being read. So now we can link this with authority. And chiefs are members of this association. And they're passed on. They're mm -hmm. passed on. Okay, so it's not an individual thing for this. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So just some other examples here. But you get an, a, a wide variety. And these are members of the association there each performing these objects. So that hmm? object, when you say that some of them are in the game, this one is being activated. Right. Yeah. 